Yo, if you know anything about that Wink Martindale, Mike McDonald defense, you know they love the beef. They're going to bring multiple guys north of 320 pounds. They're going to shut down the line of scrimmage. They're going to dictate to the offense. My man Michael Pierce is a prime example of that. He will smoke your briskets. Look at him eat the double. Watch this. Coming off the line of scrimmage right there. Immediately takes presence. Eats the double. Right, takes the presence there, streams down the line of scrimmage, parallel, splacker, tire, splatter wax your man, Zach Moss, he done. Forming that brick wall like we see right here is exactly what Mike McDonald specializes in, or first and foremost, obviously, Wink Martindale, and before that, Rex Ryan, that's just what they're going to do. They're going to bring that beef, wall you off, and force you to pass so that way they know exactly what they're defending once you give up on the run. Can't forget about Broad Washington and that help defense that they do. That's why your man Justin Matabike was able to be successful like he was because he got a lot of single coverage. I can imagine that happening for Leo Williams. Yeah, good luck blocking him with single coverage. Same deal with Jaron Reed. The Seahawks defensive front can be outstanding. But neither one of those guys are true nose tackles. Uh, probably more like a five technique and a three technique, respectively. And same deal with Cam Young as well. That's why it blew my mind when I saw that they signed Jonathan Hankins. That has to be super underrated. Jonathan Hankins, six foot two, three hundred and twenty pounds. He was the man back in the day for the New York Giants. He was one of these guys who wasn't just plugging. Uh, he could get after the quarterback as well. Now, 10, 11, 12 years later, I imagine he lost his fastball, but you never lose that power. That is the last thing to go. He will definitely contribute to some very good run defense for the Seattle Seahawks. Let's check him out right here. Top billing. Uptown Murph. Top billing, billing. I'd be remiss if I didn't start here. You can see him shaded. Shaded on the nose. Watch this. Oh, look at the one arm undertaker to the throat. Oh, took your man Sam Howell down. Yosemite Sam plastic and fertilized. We got him coming off the snap right here. Right? Immediately takes shape right in the center. Centers him up and then literally centers him up. Hand to the middle of the chest. Hand to the middle of the chest, then it starts to rise and rise and rise. So he's choke slam. You ever seen a man get lifted like that? A 300 pound man lifted off the ground with one arm. Jonathan Hankins is outstandingly strong. That's crazy. Look at that, man. Made that man turn so he could forget the pain. If he turns away from the pain, it might not long, no longer be there, right? Good Lord. One that again. Oh my God. This is him in. Against the pass. Imagine adding that to your pass. Right? That's not even his strong suit. And he's still getting it done like that. Tilted on a shade. Here we go. Mm, look at him. Stand his ground. The stand your ground law gets to Antonio Gibson at or just beyond the line of scrimmage. Exactly how you draw it up there. Look at the down block. Right? It's trying to work on the pick and roll. All right? Okay, the pin and pull. And you see he goes absolutely nowhere. He makes him stand up. So now he's out leveraged. Popped his head up at the top like Jack in the Box. He's not going anywhere. He's going to continue to take that presence. And then watch, get right down the line of scrimmage. Look how he went. Right, from here, straight down. <laughs> that simple. Like, this isn't rocket science. Let's be honest right here. It's not rocket science. You get a big 320-pound dude who's strong, who's athletic like that, let him do his thing. Let him hunt. Let him hunt and fertilize. Oh, look at him blow up this kind of OH from a zero technique. Uh, you get those blocks. Same deal right here. They're going to pick and roll. And the fact that he just doesn't go anywhere, it just causes a log jam to where Brian Robinson really just has nowhere to go. He makes this play while not making the play. He does actually eventually get in on the play there, but there's nowhere to go there. You see Brian Robinson having to sit, sift and search. Look at that. It was, everybody had a plan until they got punched in the mouth. Working off the double, he's eating that bad boy and not going anywhere. He's still standing his ground there and allowing for guys to be clean, kept clean here. 
linebacker approaching. He queen. Everyone's clean. My man's eating. And then he eventually also gets in on the play. Help defense. This time I had a two technique, but look at the edge exchange. Uh, put him in the gap to have him occupy a couple of people. Bring the edge around. But look who continues to work. If you can get a big man like this who can continue to work. Oh, man. Look at this. He set it up and then he worked out of it. And he ends up getting the sack. <laughs> Come on. One more game. Look at that. Driving Miss Daisy on him. Occupying two. Now you get the attention from the eyes of the exterior player. And he continues to run to the exterior. Look at that. Sam Howell once again. True green Kimlon. <laughs> Compost. It's tough to even string him on a stretch. You see this weak side stretch play. And Hankins right here at a 2 eye. He'll work down the line of scrimmage if necessary. Uncover. And that's all she wrote. Look at that. Absorb the double from Brown and Lewis. And oh, God. Go back on that. Look at that. Weak side run. It doesn't matter. They kind of quickly comboed on him. Lewis and Brown. Both of them going this year. Lewis and Brown there. Look at him continue to work parallel. Look at his feet. Look at the crossover steps. Continues to work parallel. All right. Great job of forcing it right with the contain. And he's working back in, into pursuit. And bang, a rise, rise with a bang. Your boy Charbonnet, I'm not sure if he was the same after that right there. Y'all want to see a dead body? Jesus, man. Big man working. Once again, shaded on the nose. He's going to eventually discard you. That's it. <laughs> point, period, point blank. Look at him continue to work there. Evan Brown didn't stand a chance. We already know that. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. <laughs> right. Initially, once again, comboed up. And Evan Brown has to ride this out. He's standing way too high. And look at him. Gets discarded like yesterday's news. Yesterday's newspaper, right? Look at that. Oh. Trash that man. Then fertilize this running back, right? Compost to him again. Come on, Evan Brown. What are you doing? What is this, man? Too easy for him to get to back to the inside. No leverage at all with Evan Brown. He gets fertilized as well. Yeah, y'all should be thinking y'all's lucky stars. Olu Ola with Timi is on the team. He won't be getting punked like that. Watch the stick to itiveness of him right here. This was going to be obviously a pass by DJ Dallas. Couldn't pass it back. Look who stands there grounding. Oh! <laughs> DJ Dallas couldn't shake that right there. Look at that. Going through it. DJ has to evacuate. Tries to detach there. And look who's standing right there to collar him. And of course, turn him into compost. But yeah, playing that man next to that boy, Lee O. Williams, and all the things that he can do there. As we see him coming off the snap, same deal. You man, Sam Howe was taking the beating in this video here. But Leo Williams, once again, on the bear hug. And look at him, man. He's being very gentle, very gentle with Sam there. So imagine that guy, Jaron Reed, and then they still go out and get someone like Tavondre Sweat. But I'll talk about that another time. All right, your boy Jersey Murph, as always, thanks to everybody out there supporting. Make sure you hit that thanks button. Make sure you tip your waiter because you know I'll be serving that hibachi. And peace. Top billing. billing. Uptown Murph. Murph. Top billing, billing. What more can I say? Top billing. Top.